Garrus. Somebody's Enemies in front. Go. <laughs> ah. I don't know if I got anything ah. I can take that out with. Get over here! Okay. I'm just struggling with all these games today. Yeah, this game here is really hard to, with the controls for some reason. It's just they don't want to respond right, and uh, the camera's all messed up. We've been spotted. <coughs> I had a weapon that could cause some damage on this guy. Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. Level up. Mission summary vindicator of battle rifle credits. Okay. But I don't know how you level up. I really don't. Mission summary. Extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity as Garrus Valkarian. Useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. 
a battle rifle favored by assassins and elite mercenaries that fires in highly accurate five round burst and can be pulsed for rapid fire deadly at any range and effective against armor shields and biotic barriers upgrades the avengers salt rifle manufactured by elenus risk control services for the blue suns mercenary group okay i guess that's one of the weapons we've got credits which i really don't know what to do with credits close report yeah exit huh. now we're supposed to go find this other guy that's supposed to help us figure out a way or to make us immune to the collectors or something is that what it is I'm not sure Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. Look at my How eyes cross right then. Let's see, nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? No worse than usual, buddy. Oh, let's see. They did what they could, but you're going to have some scars. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're going to have some scars. Ah, like I did you see my hair on the scar. I got right up there on my forehead. On me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. See it right there on my over my right eyebrow. <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Why is armor's all messed up pretty bad, ain't he? <laughs> this stuff flashes up here so quickly and you can't tell what's going on. EDI talk. So what am I supposed to do now? I have no clue. DTI talk. Okay. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Okay. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay. Big ship. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. How'd I get to my private terminal? I forget. Cruise quarters, captain's cabin. Is that where I want to go?
unread messages. Read your new message. From Admiral Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Okay. From Cerebus Command, reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Lorca, a nearby planet in the Fathar system. Scan the planet for a base where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter. Extract the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant entire the e Eclipse have collected. This is a very delicate matter. We trust your discretion. Alright. What's this? Upgrades. Review upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad members' powers, your weapons, and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire any new upgrades by finding them on missions, per purchase them from stores, or research them using a research terminal. Okay.